So it's been five days since I cooked myself, and today I'm gonna try bandage this up pretty well and uh, make a couple pieces. <laughs> So just before I cooked my hand, we were making these white twisted canes. What I'm using them for is these platter shaped pieces. They're gonna end up going on a wall. I'm gonna make an installation of a number of these. And this will be the first one of the day trying it again. Now having bandaged up my hand. So let's see how this works. a variation off of a piece that I made maybe about eight years ago and I'm going to cut into it and pull it with tweezers so it's starting to bubble so that we can roll up some canes on it. Kind of got a little crazy on us air coming out of that box when I lifted it up it was so hot. It just cooked my wrist. See all those burnt hairs? So let's put on a little more color. We're gonna have a little more texture of color on the exterior of these canes. We gotta get that tip nice and cleaned up, nice and cut down. They all meet in the center.
into the annealer. And I got beads of sweat going off my face. I gotta really make sure that that sweat doesn't fall on one, on this piece. Because one drop, one drop that hits this piece, it's gonna explode it. And you know how I know? It's happened before. If this piece cools down too fast in the open air, it's definitely gonna break. So you wanna get it in that box as soon as you possibly can. And that was great. So, thank you for watching. And stay tuned to see what the entire installation looks like. If you like what you saw, please do not forget to subscribe if you wanna see more glass videos. If you like it, definitely smash that like button and at this point it's time to eat <laughs> let's do another one